Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fine. And now, see, yes, sir, now I'm going to take here second year topic that is the most important. That is the thirteenth chapter, atom. In that chapter, it can be considered here. Definitely, you will get here two four mark questions from this chapter. And what are the questions? Are means first question is what are the limitations of Bohr theory? That is the first question. And second question is explain the different types of spectral series. Everyone, you know what is the spectral series from first year chemistry? What are that? It can be considered a hydro hydrogen atom. It can be considered a five spectral series: Lyman, Bama, Passion, Bracket, P fund. Everyone, you know this one. Okay. And next one, another one question is one minute. Another one question is. We are having another one question, sir. We that is explain the difference or distance of. Explain the distance of closest approach and closest approach and impact parameter. That is the one another one question, sir. And another one question is write a short note on Bohr's theory. I mean, write a short note on De Broglie's and Bohr's theory, sir. We are having combination of this part, these two, De Broglie as well as Bohr postulates of Bohr's theory. So, okay, these are the most important question. And another one also is there, Rutherford. Limit. I mean, uh, draw. I mean, uh, about the Rutherford and drawbacks of Rutherford. These are these are the five questions are from this chapter. Hundred percent, you will get here two four mark questions. Four plus four total, you will get here. Okay, eight marks from this chapter, sir. Okay. So first of all, I am going to take here in that one. Explain the different types of spectral series. Okay. So now here we are taking here. See, first of all, I am taking here. There is a hydrogen atom. That hydrogen atom can be consists here five types of spectral series. What are they? Sir, means first one is Lyman series. First one is Lyman. Lyman series. Okay. First one is Lyman series. Sir, what is the Lyman series? The transition of electron. It can be jump from higher energy orbit to lower energy orbit. Okay, the transition of electron can be jump from higher energy orbit to lower energy orbit. This is called here Lyman series. Okay, this is called here Lyman series. In that Lyman series, it can be see here. I mean, where will I mean, where will we get here regions? Sir, which in which region it will be get here? Sir, means this this one it will be get here. Ultraviolet region, okay, UV region, okay. This series where it is where it is visible, sir, means that is the UV region. That is ultraviolet region. Don't forget. In that one, sir, Lyman series that is N one is equals to one. Then N two is equals to two, three, four dash 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 and so on. Okay. So now here, see, sir. So we are having here formula that is frequency nu. Frequency nu is equal to r into one by n one square minus one by n two square. So we can get here r into one by one square minus one by n two square. This is the Lyman series. Okay. Once again, I am telling sir. When a transition of electron can be jump from higher energy orbit to lower energy orbit. That is called here Lyman series. In that line, this Lyman series, where it is visible, sir, means we can use. I mean, uh, in ultraviolet region only it is possible. We can see. Okay. And now see, here, sir, n one is equal to here one. Then n two is equal to two, three, four, dash, 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 and so on. So now we have to take here frequency. That is the new is equal to r is the universal constant, sir. Here r is the universal gas constant. Also, we can take. R into one by n one square minus one by n two square. Then again we can get here is equals to R into one by one square minus one by one by n two square. Okay. And now sir, second one. Second one is Lyman series. First one is Lyman series. Second one is Baumer series. Okay. What is that one? Baumer series. Baumer. Baumer series. What is the Baumer series? Sir means when an electron can be jump. Okay, when an electron transition of electron can be jump from higher energy orbit to lower energy orbit. Mean nothing but at n two n one is equals to two sir. At n one is equals to second orbit. 
2 means nothing but we are taking here orbit, second orbit. N1 is equal to 2. And what about that N2 values are being that is a 3, 4, 5 and so on. Okay? Remember, N1 is equal to, we are taking here 2. That is 2 means nothing but this is a second orbit. Here 1 means nothing but that, that is the first orbit. Okay? When an electron, it can be jumped from higher energy orbit to lower energy orbit that is N1 is equal to 2. So now we have to write here, that is the frequency formula, mu is equal to r into 1 by n1 value is how much sir? 2 square minus 1 by n2 square. This is the formula for the Balmer series. And when it is, in which region can we get sir? Means this is the visible region sir. Okay? This Balmer series you will get in visible region. Visible, this is the UV, UV region. Okay? And this is the visible region. Visible region, sir. Okay. Don't forget. And now, sir, third one. Third one is fashion. Okay. Fashion. What is that fashion? P A S P A S C H E N. Fashion series. Okay. What is the fashion series, sir? Means here, same here also. When an electron can be jumped from higher energy state to lower energy state, that is n is the n1 is equal to third orbit. Suppose it will be falling on the on the third orbit. Okay, that type of the, is uh, series is called here patchen series. In that patchen series, n1 is equal to three third orbits are and n2 is equal to four, five, six, and so on. So now we have to write the frequency for the patch and series that is mu is equal to 1 by lambda also we can write here. Okay? R into R into 1 by n1 square might nothing but that is a 1 by 3 square minus 1 by n2 square. This is the required formula for the patch and series. And this series, where it will be get here, sir, means it can be cast here. I mean it will be get here near the near infrared rays. What is that? Near Near infrared. Ah, yeah. Okay. Near infrared rays. Okay. And now, sir, fourth one. Near infrared region, you will get this type of series. And now, sir, fourth one. Lyman Balmer patching bracket. What is this one? Bracket series. Okay, sir. Bracket. A bracket series. See in this series also, when an electron jump from higher energy state to, or uh, the transition of electron can be jump from higher energy state to lower energy state. That energy state is that is that is that orbit is n1 is equal to 4 and n2 is equal to 5, 6, 7, and so on. This is the bracket series. Okay. And now, sir, in the bracket series, we have to write the formula for the frequency that is mu is equal to r into 1 by 4 square minus 1 by n2 square. Okay, mu is equal to r into 1 by 4 square minus 1 by n2 square. Where this gets here, sir, means exactly we are getting this re in which region, sir, means on the infrared region. We will get here this type of series. And next one, sir, fifth one, that is. Patch and P, sorry, P fund. That is P fund series. P fund series. So, what is the P fund series? Means here also see N1 is equal to 5, you will get. Means what is the P fund series? When an electron can be jumped from higher energy state to lower energy state, that orbit is N1 is equal to fifth orbit, and what about that N2 value? What about that N2 value, sir, means that is 6, 7, 8 and so on. So now we have to write the frequency formula nu is equal to R into 1 by N1 square. N1 means nothing but 5 square minus 1 by N2 square. This is the required formula. See, these are the spectral series, okay? Different types of spectral series of the hydrogen atom. If you can also see Lyman series, bracket series, Patchen bracket, uh, sorry, Lyman, Balmer, Patchen bracket, fun series. And don't forget the 
statement can be constituted maximum equal statements are what is that when an electron can be jump from higher energy state to lower energy state and which type of lowers are means it is equals first orbit second orbit third orbit fourth orbit and fifth orbit okay this type of the series will be come here and different different types of regions also see these three are completely the near infrared region this is the on the infrared region and this is a far infrared region what is the answer far infrared region far infrared region okay this is the most important for our question i think everyone you understood and next one sir we are having another one question that one also most important question sir okay which question sir means write a short note on de broglie's hypothesis with the bohr's postulates of bohr's theory postulates of bohr's theory sir i'm writing a question write a short note on see write a write a short short note on write a short note on on de broglie's explanation of de broglie's de broglie's explanation of explanation of de broglie's explanation of explanation of bohr's second postulate bohr's second postulate second postulate bohr's second postulate postulates of quantization postulates of quantization okay postulates of quantization this is the most important question sir this one also fourth four mark question this one also most important so first of all i'm going to give you postulates of bohr's theory okay bohr's second postulate bohr's second postulate second postulate okay bohr's second postulate sir this is the answer everyone you know what is that when an electron can be i mean all planets it will be revolving around the nucleus same like that only the electrons it will be revolving around the nucleus in a stationary orbit okay everyone you know this one see here the angular momentum of the angular momentum of electron is a stationary orbit okay the angular momentum of electron is a stationary orbit is quantized then we are having a formula that is the angular momentum that is mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi okay mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi where m is the mass of the electron okay b is the velocity of the electron r is the radius n is the integral multiple of h by 2 pi okay don't forget h is the planck constant and now see here sir in the upper that we are taking here de broglie's explanation what is that one de broglie's explanation de broglie's explanation what is the de broglie explanation sir means de broglie explanation means see here He is given here two types of natures actually particle nature and wave nature. Okay, okay. So now see here, De Broglie explained that the electron in the stationary orbit. Okay, the electron will be as I mean in the stationary orbit it will be act as a particle wave nature. Means nothing but see. Let us consider we are taking here for example the electron it will be revolving around the nucleus. Okay, this is the nucleus sir. when an electron it will be revolving around the nucleus with radius that is the r everyone you know but so for example if you can take here one particle that particle it will be rotate see this particle it will be travel like as a wave nature this particle it will be like travel like as a wave nature i think everyone you understood okay If you can take here one particle, okay, done. See here, when an electron, 
See, De Broglie, what he has explained given here? De Broglie explained that the electron in the stationary orbit, the electron in the stationary orbit, it will be, the electron in the stationary, stationary orbit acts like a particle wave, acts like a particle wave, 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 okay? Acts like a particle wave, so it forms secondary, so it forms stationary waves in the orbit. So it will be formed here, stationary waves in the orbit. Okay, remember sir, simply I am telling sir, let us consider we can take here one electron. That electron will be traveling around the nucleus in a circular orbit. So for on that orbit, if we can take here one particle, okay, that particle will be traveling like as a wave. Okay, so these who are discussed, who are given sir that explanation sir, that is the De Broglie explanation. Okay, this is the first point sir. And next one, suppose that particle it will be travel in the circumference of the circle. Okay, that particle it will be traveling along around the circle in a circumference of the circle. Means nothing but that is the circ circumference of the circle formula that is 2 pi r is equal to which is equal to integral multiple of integral multiple of its wavelength. Okay. Integral multiple of its wavelength. So now see here, according to the De Broglie, lambda is equal to everyone you know that is h by p. Then again we can write here h by p by mv is nothing but the product of mass and velocity. Lambda is equal to h by mv. This value you have to substitute replace of lambda. That is you will get here 2 pi r is equal to n into h by mv. This mv you have to write is equal to this side and 2 pi value you have to take you have to write is equal to that side. So you will get here mv mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi. So this is the here required formula. Okay. I think everyone you understood. Why we are taking here 2 pi r sir means when a particle will be travel in the form of circle. Then the this circumference of the circle which is equal to integral multiple of its wavelength. That wavelength see. According to the De Broglie, the wavelength formula lambda is equal to h by p. Then again h by mv. p means nothing but mv. This value you have to substitute replace of lambda. You will get 2 pi r is equal to n h by n h by mv. So mv you have to write is equal to this side. Then this 2 pi value you have to write is equal to that side in the denominator. So we will get mv r is equal to n h by 2 pi. I hope I wish to all members sir. I hope you all members are understood. Okay. Because of theory part, just a few, I mean two, three terms, I mean two, three points are the theory points, sir. You don't worry about that. Okay? This is the equation part in that question. I request you to all members. I think you understood. Okay? Okay, sir. And now, sir, I request you to all members, please like and share and subscribe my channel. Okay, sir? Okay, bye.